Hey guys, it's Julia here, and as you guys know, today is September 20th of 2022. You guys might be watching this later, but Windows 11 22H2 was rumored to come out today. I googled this earlier before it was released, but I bet as soon as we refresh this, it's going to say that it's out. So we're going to refresh the page, and as you can see, there's new articles about it. It's finally rolling out, and Microsoft released the update. And they even posted a blog about how to get the Windows 11 2022 update. And it pretty much just got released today. So I checked Windows Update. You're supposed to see this. However, when I opened Windows Update on my system, I checked earlier. It just got a .NET Framework update. So I am going to try and reboot and check for updates again to see what this adds. Because I do want to try 22H2 because I feel like it's going to be a lot better. I looked at this page earlier, which I'll link in the description if you want to read about the features of 22H2, but it has a lot of new features, and if you just scroll through this, there is a ton of screenshots and a ton of features. I will say, though, I do like how the sound looks like this now, and I actually really like how, look, you can do folders in the start menu, you can... You know customize this which i really like so more pins instead of recommendations you can get rid of those which is really nice or at least reduce the amount and there's a plenty of other features and these are like the main features so if you want to read about this you can but one thing i do like is how they have a new task manager the fact you can now drag and drop files on the taskbar because they took that feature away when 11 came out but now that feature has been added back and they added a lot more things to settings and all kinds of stuff, but I'm not going to go fully into it because this video is just announcing that it's out and also showing how to update. So if I don't get the update, I'll show you the other way to update. But if I refresh this, this information is probably going to change because this says it's expected to become available, but now it's available, but that was before it was available. So if I refresh the page, it's probably going to say that it's available. This is the Windows 11 download page before the update was released because now I think they changed it to say right below here latest version is and included what it was from what I saw. But this was before it was released, the page before. So if I refresh this page, you'll see here now it says current release Windows 11 2022 update version 22H2. So they added this to the page. I don't know if this refreshed or not, but I am going to link this in the description for you guys to read about the features. So I'm going to reboot my computer and then we're going to come back and check for updates again and we're going to see if I receive it. Alright, so we're back. So we're going to open settings, Windows update, and we're going to check for updates again and see if we get 22H2. So I want to do it this way because I really want to see it through Windows Update. However, I'm not sure if everyone's going to see it through Windows Update because Microsoft might do a staged rollout, meaning if you want to get it, you might have to actually get it from their website, which I'll leave a link in the description to. And all we see is this cumulative update, which let's go ahead and try and install this and just see if this does anything. Alright guys, so I'm on my virtual machine because I did upgrade my main to 22H2, but I did run into a few hiccups, however I'm going to make that a separate video just to show my upgrade experiences. It seems after the upgrade and after I worked all those issues out, it seems to be running fine. I'll probably post something on Twitter about 22H2 and how it performs, but I'm still running 22H2 on my main. But because I just want to make a video first showing how to update it, I'm going to update my virtual machine. So you guys will see that other video maybe tomorrow or the next day. So you guys can see it's out. Some people got it through Windows Update. However, I'm going to open Windows Update on my VM and you guys will see that I click check for updates and it doesn't seem to be receiving the update. It just says I'm up to date. I go to the optional updates. There is no optional update. So I'm going to show you guys how to force the upgrade. So I'll leave a link in the description to the Windows 11 download page, but I'm going to pull it up right now on this virtual machine. So download Windows 11. Now I will say this. Do not use the Windows 11 installation assistant. This is meant for Windows 10 systems to upgrade to 11, 
but I had an issue where PC Health Check was preventing the system from upgrading because apparently, since it has to be installed for the installation assistant to work, it also prevents the upgrade. So please do not use the Windows 11 installation assistant. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download an ISO. Now you can use the media creation tool to download an ISO, or you could just download an ISO directly from Microsoft, which is much easier, so select this. Windows 11 multi-edition ISO, download, it's validating the request, choose your language, in my case, English United States, confirm. And once we confirm this, it should give us a download. And once we get the download, we will go ahead and download it. So it gives us a link that's only valid for 24 hours after you create it. So we're gonna download this again, even though I already have this downloaded on my computer, but we're just gonna download it again for this example. So we're gonna wait for this to download and I'm gonna show you guys what to do after. Now, before we actually do anything, open Winver on your system because this will tell you what version of 11 I'm on. So here the VM is on Windows 11 version 21H2, OS build 22000.1042, which is the latest for 21H2. However, we wanna upgrade to 22H2. So if you don't get the update in Windows Update, this is the solution and best way to upgrade. So I will come back when that's done. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to start the VM again because I ran out of disk space and it messed it up, but luckily it resumed the download. So hopefully this isn't corrupted. So I'm gonna open up the ISO and we are going to run setup.exe. So click yes to that so that we can run it. And hopefully this will be a smooth upgrade. So I'm just gonna click next. It's going to get updates. And pretty much we just go through the setup to upgrade to Windows 11 22H2. You will have to run Windows Update after because this does not update to the latest cumulative update, which is .521 and this installs like .3 something. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll show you guys when the upgrade is done. So I'm going to let this check for updates. It might actually get it on this VM, but for my computer, it did not for some reason. It might here, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to let this do its thing. It says making sure you're ready to install. That did not take long, so I don't think it got updates during the installation. It might for you, it might not, but in my case, it did not. All right, this is looking good. So it says ready to install. You won't be able to use it during installation. Save your save and close your files before you begin. To recap, you've chosen to install Windows 11 Pro. Keep personal files and apps. Now, depending on your edition, it'll say home or pro or enterprise or whatever edition you had, but this VM has pro. It says that certain apps and features may have additional requirements above the Windows 11 minimum system requirements. Some features from previous version of Windows aren't available in Windows 11. Well, we're already on 11, so install. And now I'm just gonna let this install. You can see the spinning thing is actually different. And I've noticed that when you're upgrading your computer to Windows 11, you're gonna see this spinning thing that I'm gonna be showing a video of my computer where it shows it on the working on update screen, but it also shows it when you're starting your computer as well. So that's one of the new features in Windows 11 version 22H2. So I did show you guys some of the features in the beginning of the video when I was looking at it on my main. I'm just replacing the clips of me actually upgrading it in this video because I wanted just to make a video on how to upgrade it without any problems. And then I'll upload that as a different video of my actual experiences in upgrading. So I'm gonna let this upgrade. It's gonna reboot eventually when it says like, it'll say it's gonna restart in a few moments eventually. Then it'll reboot, do the working on update screen do all that stuff and then it'll go through like the high phase and all that. After that, we'll be on 22H2. All right guys, so the upgrade finished. I had to use a different ISO because I believe the one I downloaded got corrupted since the VM ran out of space in the middle of it and it resumed because it kept reverting back. But after I used the ISO that I downloaded earlier, which is this one, it upgraded successfully. So if I compare it, which is really strange because, so you guys can see that the sizes look the same. However, the ISO I downloaded on the VM kept failing to upgrade and was reverting back. So clearly there was something wrong after I used my ISO, it worked. So just to let you know, if your VM freezes in the middle of downloading or your computer, you're better off just restarting the download because otherwise you're gonna get a bad download. Even though it looks fine, it doesn't work. So I just used my good known ISO and repeated the process. 
of going through the setup and everything is all good. I will open up Winver in this VM so you guys can see that it's finally on version 22H2 OS build 22621.382, which obviously the latest is .521. So after you upgrade, you will need to go to settings, Windows update, and check for updates and install all the updates. Now I did have an issue with my computer. I'm not sure if the VM is gonna have this problem, but it didn't wanna download the cumulative update. It kept like saying download and install over and over and it would not download. If you experience that issue, just copy the KV number, go to the Microsoft update catalog, download the exact update from there and install it and it should work. It looks like in the VM it's actually, oh, never mind, it's not working in the VM either. So I assume this is just a bug with 21H2. I'll leave a link in the description to the latest cumulative update for Windows 11. Keep in mind if it is after September 20th, like it's in October or November, that's going to be an older update. So you're going to want to go to Windows Update and actually grab the newer KB if you're still having the issue. but. I think by then the issue will be fixed, so if you upgrade and you're experiencing this issue where it just won't download the update and it keeps saying it failed with this error code, just install the update from the catalog. So again, I'll have the link there in case you run into this because this is the second time I've ran into this problem, so I'm sure I'm not the only one having the issue. But other than that, 22H2 is pretty cool. It has some new features. I noticed that they have this home tab in Explore now, which is new. I think it replaced quick access with this, which is basically it's the replacement of quick access. And I'll also leave a link to all the features and stuff below. But anyways, this is how to update to Windows 11 version 21H2. I will have a video within the next day or two showing my experiences and all the issues I had. including when the VM was failing to update because I just wanted a quick video on how to update and then I'll have another follow-up video, which in that video I actually show me downloading the update from the catalog in, but I'll leave a link for you guys. Just be sure you click the download button so it actually downloads. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Windows 11 22 H2 down below and that'll do it for this video. Bye-bye for now.